It's a 1929 Austin 166 Burnham Saloon. That's the full name. Burnham Saloon. Burnham, yes. Austin's cars always had a place name, a town name, as the for the model. So, um, and uh, I've had it uh, for 41 years. It was the I had a little Austin before that, but this was the model I always fancied and fell in love with, and uh, had the opportunity to buy it all those years ago. Goodness me. Um, was it easy to find? I mean, with a, it's a it rare was, car, isn't it? Sort of. Uh, Exchange and Mart, it was advertised in. <laughs> so, Thursday morning, I'm looking at the Exchange and Mart. Thursday evening, I'm going to have a look at the car. Really? Really? Have you spent a lot of time and money on it since you bought it? I suppose over the years I have, but uh, not a tremendous amount. It's a hobby. Yeah. Um, it's cheaper than a football season ticket, shall we say. <laughs> <laughs> and once it's up and together like this, then it's very little cost. It's just yeah. putting, putting the fuel in. Yeah. And it's, it's very straightforward mechanically. It's like a Meccano set, you know, everything unbolts. Yeah. Not like a modern car. No modifications whatsoever. Um, it doesn't have indicators. I have my arms hanging out of the side, the hand signals, but it does have brake lights. Yeah. They were put on some years ago, which it wouldn't have had when it was new. Otherwise, it's absolutely as it left the factory. I've been in touch with the families of all the owners from new, which is so I've got a complete history. Did you go and meet them or any of them? I've met some of them. Did you really? Uh, yes. Uh, I met one of them by accident at a show like this many years ago. The uh, elderly gentleman stood by our car when we came back. We'd been walking around and he said, is this your car? I said, well, yes, it is. He said, uh, no, it's not. It's mine. <laughs> and he burst into tears. No. Uh, he would have been about sort of in his late 70s then. And his family had owned the car for over 30 years. It was in a family garage business with several other cars identical, hired out for hire cars, uh, in terms of weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, yeah, yeah, all yeah. sorts of things like that. The man who broke into tears, did he think that you'd looked after the car properly? Oh yes, he's very happy. Uh, we would then meet up every year at the same show and we'd go down and visit him. He lived down in Hampshire, near Portsmouth. And if we were taking the car down that way, we'd go and visit him in the village where he lived and where the car lived. Mm. But uh, it will cruise along all day at 40 miles an hour and we'd go all over the place in it and just enjoy it. Your family go with you? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. What do they think about it? Well, they grew up with it, the, the, the kids. And they're adults now, but um, we used to go camping holidays, trailer on the back, big tent, go away for two weeks. Did you? Think nothing of it. Yeah, yeah. Did they like going away? I think so, yes, because they would, I'd take them to shows like this and what have you. Our weekends were old car based, mainly. They didn't ever yeah. say to you, Daddy, why didn't you get a new car, please? Oh, now and again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, they've grown up, kids of their own. The, my granddaughters love the car. Yeah, it, yeah. It's history repeating itself.